The public is gathering to remember Rayshard Brooks. People have been coming all through the afternoon to his viewing. He was killed by a now fired Atlanta police officer. His death reignited anger, sadness and calls for police reform. An autopsy from the Fulton County Medical Examiner confirms that Brooks died after being shot two times in the back. It happened after a DUI stop at the Wendy's on University Avenue. His death now officially ruled a homicide. The GBI will do a separate toxicology report a public visitation for Rayshard Brooks started late this afternoon at the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church. Joe Henke is live there for us right now. Joe. Laisha and Cheryl, that public visitation began at 3 o'clock today. I had a, an invitation only funeral for Rayshard Brooks, which will be held tomorrow also here at Ebenezer Baptist Church. Now, the rain that might have limited the line here a little bit, but we still saw a steady flow of people going inside this afternoon to pay their support for the Brooks family. The hearse slowly approached Ebenezer Baptist Church, and the body of Rayshard Brooks was ushered inside. His family followed closely behind. Inside the church, an opportunity for the public to pay their respects for 27-year-old Rayshard Brooks. I sympathize with his family. I do sympathize with the officers as well. I understand that they were doing their due diligence. However, I do believe that he took a stand for his life. First in line for the visitation today, Latoya Spikes and her daughter Morgan. This is history for me. I've never seen the unrest of people passing away just due to uh, pro police brutality. Others came out today because they worry for their own family when hearing about Brooks's death. I have two sons, and um, every time they go out, I'm very concerned about how they're going to get stopped by the police, uh, not make it home and I just wanted to be here. A few saying they did not attend services for George Floyd in Minneapolis given the distance, but folk called to be here today for this service in their hometown. You know, I thought this would at least, least would cease after the, the, the one in Minnesota, you know. But then all of a sudden, this right here comes up, then the one down farther south comes up. Eugene Richard and, uh, says he is confused as he waits outside the church after hearing the stories of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and now Rayshard Brooks. Well, why can't the madness stop? America, you know, it can be better. We can do, we can do better. Atlanta could be better. And the visitation here at Ebenezer runs till 7 p.m. and is open to the public. Now, ahead of the eulogy, he'll deliver tomorrow. Uh, senior pastor, Reverend Raphael Warnock, sent as part of the eulogy he will be giving at the church here tomorrow afternoon. We'll share that with you coming up at 6. All right, Joe, we'll see you then. Thank you.